Hey friends, what happened? And this is Dr. Heather from Ask Dr. Heather. Um, we are on our way out for the Saturday evening, but just thought I'd show you what's happening inside my refrigerator. One of the majority of the questions I get is, how do you actually plan and stay on target for a low fat, um, or sorry, low carb, high fat, ketogenic, or just a clean style of eating? I'm gonna tell you what it is, is when you go to stock your refrigerator, just buy what's healthy. If you buy garbage, that's what you're gonna grab at the last minute is you're gonna buy, grab garbage to eat. If you buy healthy on the go stuff, that's what you're more likely gonna be to grab. So I can tell you, we've got three boys at home this summer from the age of 17 to 22. They are not all keto, they are not all low carb. But however, if we have healthy food in here, that's what they're likely to eat. So my husband, Dr. Ralph, ran to the store today. Did a, you did two store runs or three? One. One store run today, and I always got one more to do. We went to Sprouts last night and grabbed a couple things, but the boys all had actually worked double shifts today. So a couple of them came home and said, oh, good, great. They opened up their fridge like, yes, yes, yes. And that's what you want to hear when you're 21, 22 year old come home like, yes, that's what we've got in the fridge. So kind of makes your day when you hear that. So I'm just going to turn it around here and show you. I know many of you know that I don't do much dairy free things, but maybe I'll show it a little closer here. I do a lot of almost all dairy free things. So we do use reverse osmosis water. I get a ton of questions about that. This is 8.5 done with Kangen. We have filtered on the refrigerator. We have reverse osmosis for the house. But one of the best things that our boys have actually liked, I'm gonna actually just pull this out here, is that um, we found these cage free boiled eggs. There's 24 in a pack and these are super easy on the go snacks. And I think I'm going to make some tuna salad up tomorrow. I kind of asked who would eat tuna salad if I made it with these boiled eggs. But like our 22-year-old just, we walked in and grabbed these and ate them. I mean, super excited to have those on the go. And then our 21-year-old is like, I need more fat. So he is all into his Greek olives. Again, just have the snacks here. They're ready to go. Not everyone's gluten-free, but we have one kiddo in our house that loves these low-carb tortillas. So again, it's just kind of having stuff on the on the. Uh, in the house ready to go. Of course, everybody loves a good steak. Our kids love steak for breakfast, steak for lunch, steak for leftover. They'll grill them, whatever they love to do. They also love these kind of ready-made Italian meatballs. So these don't just have to go in spaghetti sauce. We like mashed cauliflower with them. You can grill them, you can put them on a kebab, you can kind of do them lots of different ways. But they're all excited to see that kind of stuff in there. Um, again, not everyone's dairy free, but definitely have a little bit of yogurt in our fridge. I think Dr. Ralph made some homemade whipped topping back here. I usually make it, I'm seeing your comments there guys, generally make it with canned coconut oil. I think this is from heavy whipping cream, correct? Mm -hmm. And you use a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of- Vanilla. Gluten-free vanilla. Splenda. Splenda or Swerve? Excuse me, Swerve. Swerve, you can also use Sucrin, but Swerve works best. And then again, for a couple of dairy eaters in our house, they were super excited to find these little cheddar bites. Those are yummy, yummy, yummy. I think they could have eaten the whole container, but we had to take it from their hands. Uh, we've got some ground beef down here. So lots of red meat this week. It seems like we're gonna do some grill, some burger grilling tomorrow. We've also got a corned beef brisket. Our kids love corned beef and brisket. Super easy to put in the pressure cooker, Instapot, um, oven if that's how you wanna cook it. Um, also, we go through about two or three dozen eggs down here. I'm gonna try to see if I can point this down towards the bottom here. This super fancy. We always have lemon and limes in the house, so we love it with our fish, I love it with my water, I love it with my electrolytes. Um, I passed over the drawer, Dr. Ralph did pre-cook, I think, three pounds of bacon, so some turkey bacon, some regular pork bacon, um, and the turkey bacon that I actually like the best is this uncured turkey bacon that's got no nitrates, it's gluten-free, no preservatives, so I love this turkey bacon, it's great on anything. Um, then the bottom shelf, Brussels sprouts. I know you guys can't see me, but that's okay. So, I mean, again, 10, 10 and 20 different ways you can do Brussels sprouts. Steam them, cook them, broil them. So, <laughs> I got home from work the other day, and our 21-year-old just walked out the car. He's helping me grab my work stuff, and he literally had these English cucumbers and was just eating it. He washed them, didn't peel it, didn't cut it, and just grabbed it by the bite and was just eating the cucumber. But we also have, Dr. Ralph showed me, in the middle of our island, guys, if you just set the food out, the kids will eat them or yourself will eat them. If you have M&M's sitting out, you'll eat the M&M's. If you have cucumbers, nuts, and seeds sitting out, that's what you're gonna grab. We also have love sweet peppers. We love to grill those, cut them in half, or you can just simply put the whole thing on the grill. Great for fajitas, great to put in your eggs and omelets. You can soft tuna salad in them. 
We always have romaine lettuce. Again, it's a great wrap for a turkey sandwich or a hamburger or for tuna salad, chicken salad, salmon salad. You can put your meatballs on those. Absolutely great idea. And then very bottom, we have got celery down there. I'm not gonna pull it up. You all know what celery looks like, but celery is great for tuna salad. It's a great natural diuretic in the summer. It's potassium sparing. You can juice it if you want, three or four stalks with a little bit of lemon, a little bit of ginger is a great adrenal tonic mid-afternoon. Also a great starter for the day if you find yourself getting dehydrated in the summer. You can also just eat celery. It's a great snack, put some sun butter on it, set that out for the kids to eat. So that's a little walk. I'm not gonna take you through the rest of our pantry, but that is just one of our stops for the week. And honestly, what we found that if you start out your week getting things planned, then you're more likely to be successful throughout the week. And again, the other three boys in our house are not counting macros or not counting things. They're listening to their body. They eat when they're hungry and they stop when they're full. So that's, I think, where sometimes as adults, we get into a lot of trouble. We're all consumed with how many steps did I take? When did I eat last? What time is it? I'm actually hungry. Am I not? When you go back, and my kids aren't toddlers, when you go back to that style of eating like, dude, I'm hungry, let's grab some food, you're gonna find yourself getting to that metabolic system where your body's gonna tell you like, I actually worked a lot today, I'm super hungry, where um, I've got my older son that's home today is a server, so I actually was a manager at a restaurant, he's walking continually on his job, where he's burning more calories, all of my sons still go to CrossFit every single day, they're burning calories, they're walking, they're burning, so they listen to their bodies, and my kids are great water drinkers, they don't drink any soda, but again, we're seeing them that they're simply eating. I would love to show you over here, I'm throwing away blueberries and strawberries we bought two weeks ago, because my kids don't even eat fruit, I don't have any bananas in my house, they'd rather have healthy meats, we've got fish in the freezer, because freezing is nature's way of saying pa, so if you do buy fish, I would encourage that you buy, again, fresh, cold water fish, Buy it frozen and then keep it frozen until you're ready to serve it. That's also a great easy way. It takes about eight to 10 minutes to actually thaw out cold water fish, whether it's cod or halibut, salmon, tuna, a lot of great markets around town in Kansas City are having sales. Super easy, again, just add a vegetable with it, throw it on some salad. Super easy, throw it on the grill for four or five minutes, throw it in the broiler. Again, very easy to make. So again, just load your refrigerator up. And what you're gonna find is magical things happen. People eat it, but if you're buying garbage and putting it in the fridge, that's what they're gonna eat first, or you're, what you're, you're gonna eat first or last. Also can show you we have frozen lamb or yarrow meat. My kids love to do that and just throw on a bunch of cabbage. You wanna show them our bread basket? Yeah. <laughs> This is our bread basket. It's kind of funny. I think a lot of you know, um, we ha I had surgery in April, so we were very blessed to have our community around us, our church, our family, our friends, bringing over some meals. And some people did bring some buns or some hoagies or things like that. So we actually got a basket out for bread. We hadn't had bread in our house for a long time, so we left. That's us, our bread basket. The kids really thought it was super fun to have a little bit of bread. Again, we haven't had it for a long time. So again, a little indulgence is okay. But again, if you have it there, it's ready to go. I mean, the cucumbers are out there eating those if the peppers were out they're gonna eat those we've got a cupboard of nuts and seeds and like we were just laughing this morning we've got beef jerky and I don't know why kids do this again 22 they're young adults or 21 they keep opening up all of the different bags of beef jerky like open up one and finish it <laughs> they don't they open up two or three but anyway we are out for this afternoon but just want to check in with you guys I get questions all the time with three kids and working and going through a healing process myself I'm not, I do want to thank each and every one of you for the kind words the support the prayers and being patient with me answering your questions and do drop your questions down below here because your questions important and whatever question you may have about a health concern I know that there's got to be a few under other hundred of people that have the same question that you do so um, I've got a list compiling I'm going to do better probably two times a week getting those questions and answered pushed out there. I've got a lot on SIBO, which is S-I-B-O, which has to do with those breath tests people are taking for gut bacteria. I have a lot on IBS. I don't know what's happening, but people are having a tremendous amount of problems with gut and with GERD and with irritable bowel and trying to be trying to get their gut balanced out. So we're definitely gonna just do some targeted Q&A about those on the questions that I'm getting. Also a lot of thyroid health popping up lately. So we're gonna do some targeted Q&A about that. But I just wanted to just take a short jump in the refrigerator and just tell you guys, thanks for your questions. That's what's happening here in the Cardin kitchen. And I do wanna thank my husband because he does the majority, I would say 99.9% .9 of the grocery shopping because I'm not still not driving, but it does help. We all work together as a family. So 
he and Christian, one of my sons, made the grocery list for the week. And then we know that I do have all three sons driving, so they'll all help pitch in. They all will be assigned a dinner night as soon as they get their schedules for the week. So that absolutely helps out because then they're all in charge. And we know that if we teach our children to actually cook and to enjoy the pleasure of cooking, they take so much pride in it. I can tell you watching my young men cook, it is warms my heart because like, hey, stay out of my pants, stay out of my kitchen, stay out of this. I know how to make this. I know how to make that. And they really just take ownership of that. And if we can teach our children to love what they do to nurse their bodies with good, healthy food, then we're going to change the trajectory of what's happening with the population of our children. We know that our children, our young men, this, the I generation is not supposed to outlive us for the first time in 200 years. If we teach them to love what they're doing, our body is its own pharmacy. When you feed it correctly, then we're going to actually do amazing things. So please share this. It's meant to be shared. Maybe you know somebody else who's struggling with their lifestyle. They're trying to eat healthier, but just can't figure it out. I have lots of videos on Ask Dr. Heather. It's a free YouTube channel you can pop over to. Also, if you go up to the video section up above, lots of videos there. You can also join. Again, just go right there. If you want to start your day in the right way and ready to start it in the keto low carb way, you can jump over to AskDrHeather.net. You can just put subscribe, put your email. It's totally free. There is a downloadable guide that gives you four amazing breakfast ideas, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, or carnivore, and you can download your guide to start your day in the right way. This is Dr. Heather saying God bless, and we'll be seeing you soon.